reaction, yo. Reaction. Comedy. Comedy. Reaction. Reaction. Comedy. Reaction. Comedy. Reaction. Comedy. Reaction. 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 <laughs> What up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Reaction to Comedy. I'm your host, Magic Leb. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Magic and Dairy and to follow me on my Instagram at Fames Comedy Spot BH. Now, this is not, there's nothing wrong with your screen. Uh, my eyes are devilish red. Um, got too much shampoo in my eyes, or did I? Uh, up to you to decide what you think. What you think really happened? But anyway. Tonight's episode uh, is going to be an exciting episode, a fun episode. Um, I chose I chose to do another uh, episode on Rowan Atkinson. Uh, a lot of you know him as Mr. Bean. Now, of course, Rowan Atkinson's been around long before he created the Mr. Bean character. Uh, he first got his start up in sketch comedy on a British show called Not the Nine O'clock News. And if you watch, if you look it up on YouTube and type that, you'll find some good old-fashioned British humor. You get to see a very young Rowan Atkinson. And after that, he developed a fantastic show that went for four seasons known as Black Adder. Hysterical. It is something I highly recommend you all to watch. If you're a fan of comedy, though you don't have to, you know, it's just comedy. Even though it's British comedy, all right, it's still comedy and it's hilarious and I highly recommend it. Now, what we're going to see tonight is, it looked like an interview, but it was actually a sketch. And because it was filmed live, in front of a live audience, and it was hysterical. Rowan Atkinson interviews Elton John. This was, I think, back in, back in 93, I think it was. All right. And it was just so brilliant. I mean, at first, you thought that it was legit. But you can definitely see that Elton John was in on the joke. I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. Just watch and see the comedic skills of this man. He's multi-talented. He's a, he's, he is a comedy genius. You know, I put him up there with the greats like Chaplin. I really do. I even put him up there uh, in sketch comedy, in terms of sketch comedy, with the best of them. Because he is one of the best we have ever seen. And we are lucky to have him. Lucky to have be alive to have him. That's what I mean. Anyway, here we go. Rowan Atkinson interview with Elton John. Let's check it out. Good evening and welcome to the National Theatre for this, the third in our series of informal conversations with major performers. It has been a very exciting season so far, which has encompassed such performing giants as Sir Ian McKellen, Dame Judi Dench, and of course, Christopher Biggins. <laughs> But tonight we are to welcome a man who, although no giant, <laughs> Christopher Biggins, a nobody, but a great. How he keeps that straight face, that, that's just, you know, I don't, I don't know how long it took for him to perfect that, but he is a master in keeping a straight face. Has nevertheless made a huge impression in his chosen field. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elton John. A young Elton, a young Rowan. <clears throat> Elton, do you mind if I call you Elton? No, no, it's fine. Good. Well, Elton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the first question that, ev that everybody would like to ask you is this. Funny name, Elton. <laughs> How did you come by it? Well, I used to be in a band and uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to become a singer in my own right and I, I wanted to choose a name and the saxophone player in the band was called Elton, so I chose that name. Hmm? Did you ever consider John Elton? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you didn't. <laughs> OK. <laughs> right, well, let's so start with those early that. albums, then. One of which, I believe, was called simply Elton John. Yes, that's correct. When you didn't feel awkward with the name at all. <laughs> no. You didn't feel that people might say, wait a minute, they mean John Elton. <laughs> uh, they've cocked up the record sleeve and printed the bloody name the wrong way around. <laughs> no, I thought it sounded great. And, you know, 
I thought people would be more interested in the music rather than the name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, to the songs themselves. Many of the lyrics were, of course, written by Bernie Taupin. Yes, that's right. Yes. Well, I'd like to talk about Bernie for a while, since obviously he's been an enormous influence on your career. Yes, he has, yes. Tell me, did you ever discuss changing his name? <laughs> <laughs> because presumably Torpin Bernie would have been more consistent with your Elton John. <laughs> Look, do you want to talk about the old songs or not? Ooh. All right, all right, the songs. The old songs. Your song is a classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite popular, yes. Well, there is a verse in that song in which, talking about the eyes of the person that the song is about, you sing, Excuse me for asking, these things I do. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. <laughs> yes. What I'd like to know is this. Is it this sort of chronic forgetfulness <laughs> that led you to forget that Elton is not, in fact, a Christian name at all? <laughs> it is a surname. <laughs> and uh, you keep going and back not a very attractive name. one at that. <laughs> oh. Elton trying to act here, old pussy. Let's talk about something else, shall we? Forget the name. Whoa. All right, Mr. John. <laughs> Let's talk about being Mr. a stage John. performer, should we? Tell me, do you ever watch other performers and get jealous? <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I follow you there. I mean, jealous of what? Well, for instance, Ben Elton. <laughs> you... Exactly. Brilliant. I, I don't have to do this, you know. I just, I all right, all right. Look, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Fair enough. Moving on, then. M many consider your masterpiece, of course, to be the album Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. And there is one song that people are particularly moved by called called Candle in the Wind. Yes, a lot of people seem to like that song. Now, this song is, in fact, dedicated to Norma Jean Baker, who, of course, changed her name to Monroe Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. My point exactly! <laughs> Marilyn is a Christian name, so it comes first. Can't you see that? Are you word blind or something? I mean, it's... I've had enough of this. Well, all right, sorry. no, 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 wait, please, I'm sorry. See, please, I'm, I'm sorry, it was my mistake. I'm sorry. There's only one more question to go. It won't take long, really. It won't take a moment. Sorry, there's only... <laughs> please, sit down. Oh, my. One final question. You've obviously achieved enormous success over the years, but, in fact, you didn't have a solo British number one until this year with a song called Sacrifice. Now, my big question is this. Surely, you wouldn't have had to wait so long for a number one <laughs> if it hadn't been for your stupid, pointless, bloody name! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Something went wrong there. What a head, Dick. <laughs> 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 Okay. That was that was funny. That was great. Obviously, uh, something went wrong technically. Maybe the gun was supposed to, I don't know, uh, a cap gun. Maybe like a, a little bang. Maybe the trigger wasn't working or something. Because but uh, but Rowan as a professional still acted like oh got shot and he fell. Great commitment. He stuck with it. Even even when something went wrong, he stuck with it till the end. I mean, everybody was laughing. And, you know, Elton John kind of even got a little... Um, and maybe a little impatient because he was, like, trying to get the crowd to calm down so he could say his one, his final line. What a head dick. That was brilliant. That was really good. Dickhead, you know. Ah, oh, man. You see, it's just the, the, the timing... How Rowan Atkinson keeps a straight face, you know. How 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 Rowan. At this was like before, uh, between two ferns with Zach Zach Galifianakis. I hope I said that right. You know, I mean Zach Galifianakis was do he's doing the same thing now. You know, and and Rowan came up with this in in the early nineties. If Rowan 
Rowan could have done an entire series of a show like this. He could have had like probably five to ten seasons of just doing shows like this. And it would have been hysterical. Every episode would have been brilliant. You know, I mean, this guy is just a living legend, really. I, he does, I don't think he gets enough credit for the kind of stuff that he does. I mean, every the majority of the people just know him as Mr. Bean. Uh, okay, fine, it's a very popular show. But if you, if, if you just see what he can do, what else he can do, he is equally, if not more, funny when he's verbal than he is when he's silent. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me on this episode of Reaction to Comedy. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it's not always about stand-up, and it's not always about this kind of stuff. I like to see these kinds of sketches. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube at Magic and Dairy. And follow me on my Instagram, which is at Fames Comedy Spot BH. I've been your host, Magic Leb, and I hope you join me for another episode of Reaction to Comedy. Yeah. Reaction, yo. Reaction, comedy. Comedy, reaction. Reaction, comedy. Reaction, reaction. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I know you guys got my back. I'm more terrified of that white guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>